Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 16th, 2021. Well, passing halfway through the month, and oh my gosh, have we been bullish in this market. Continuing to stretch on out, Dow topping 34,000 yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So yesterday we had an extraordinary um, move as earnings came in very, very strong and um, economic data was also much stronger than expected. One thing that's been pretty interesting so far, it's actually been noted by some of the news agencies already, is that um, analysts have lowered estimates so much on companies that uh, it's kind of typical that um, a company may beat estimates by three, four percent, kind of like that. Um, but they're beating them by as much as 20 percent. And um, that's helping to inspire this market um, uh, incredibly higher. Some might call that manipulation, but, you know, it's the game we play on earnings. And as you can see, we continue to stretch and stretch and stretch. Um, these markets higher and there's no evidence at least at the moment in price action that that's going to change anytime soon however I do want to caution everyone that as we continue to stretch to the upside there is that significant possibility that if we do reverse or pull back that it could be rather punishing because of the distance that we um, could move in um, just finding the next support level um, let's just take a look uh, i'm going to jump to the to the dow here just as an example um, we're looking at opening a little bit higher this morning but just keep in mind if all we did was pull back to this price support in the chart that's a 400 point move and if we were to pull back to this stronger price support that's a um, 700 plus Point move. So although these candles just look like normal everyday candles, they're not. They are extremely stretched out and that adds some danger if there is some kind of a pullback in the market. Now I'm not suggesting that's going to happen. What I, wanted, what I want to um, say is be careful not to overtrade and be careful not to become complacent. Let's remember, this is Friday. We've had an extraordinary run-up. It would not be out of the question to see a little bit of profit-taking starting to come in um, heading into the weekend. However, that said, we could still continue to press higher if we can continue to get this uh, these bullish feelings going on in the market. I know there's been a lot of people out there putting hanging a 35,000 target on the Dow and who's to say that we can't just continue to press this rally and extend straight on up to 35,000 the way the market is acting right now. So I'm just suggesting to be a little bit careful. Don't overtrade this and, and, and don't become complacent because we could stumble at any time and then that punishing move could um, really hurt a lot of folks um, when it pulls back. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look here. Um, we certainly have a beautiful upside trend. Once again, we do have some support levels in this chart that we can kind of keep an eye on for possible pullbacks. Notice the stronger support right back here could be a, um, quite punishing if we pull back to there. But watch, let's just keep a close eye on that. We do want to remember that we are extending away from our 50-day moving average tremendously. I mean, we are really extended um, um, in the market. And the Dow is one of the better of the indexes right now. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. Now, the SPY... Um, continuing to stretch on up and almost you just have to almost call this a, a parabolic move as we continue to stretch and stretch and stretch um, to the upside which adds significant danger now one thing I want to point out here is if we were to pull back um, 
um, just to this level of price support in here. If right here's our pre-market open that we're looking at right now, if we were to pull back to here, we're looking at um, a massive pullback in the SPY. That's a, a nearly 190 points in the SPY or in the S&P 500 that we could pull back just to contact that support. So once again, it's just that it's just that warning to be careful not to overtrade or not to chase too much in this. Um, just in case we happen to stumble at any point in time. The pullbacks could be substantial if that were to occur, so watch that carefully. Right now, bulls are in control. We had overnight lows in the futures, but they have reversed those this morning. Everything is fired up again this morning. It's just pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, and there seems to be no price too high that people aren't willing to pay right now in the market. So just just remember, don't get overly excited here chasing too much um, just in case we do trip and fall. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, QQQs also new record high yesterday, completely reversing this bearish engulfing candle we had just the day before. So we completely reverse that, set new record highs, and we're trying to stretch that to the upside again this morning. Now, one of the things that helped that is we saw Treasury yields pulling back yesterday, but we will have to make note that Treasury yields have popped back up just slightly um, during the night. They're still below low uh, the highs, but they pop back up slightly. So we'll want to keep an eye on that um, as we move forward. So new record highs, Diamond Spy and Q. Everything's copacetic, except for that fact that we are very extended in the short term. We're a long ways away from um, support levels in these charts, and that adds danger to uh, the potential market. Let's take a look. By the way, don't forget this candle right here. Um, for those of you that might have been punished that day with that whipsaw, don't forget that because how punishing that was, um, if that were to occur again, just it, it only gets worse as we continue to stretch these indexes out. So stay with the trend, but don't overtrade. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM. <clears throat> is lagging behind a little bit. We continue to struggle just a little bit with um, oil sector. And the financial sector um, actually yesterday didn't perform um, all that well. We we had a few things popping up, a few things pulling back. So uh, the financial sector kind of was flat overall. We'll look at that in a second. But that um, kind of kept um, IWM just a little bit subdued here in its move. Now, one thing we have to kind of keep in mind here on IWM, there's um, an uptrend and here is that downtrend. We have bet, beat that downtrend now, slid out from underneath it. And although we have a fairly significant level of price resistance right across here, we, with the bullishness that we see in the market, we could actually find that energy to pop on through. So watch that close. But we can't rule out the possibility that if we stumble or uh, that we could fail here at that level. So just keep a close eye on that. Watch that pretty closely. And I think it's going to really depend on how financials and energies perform, um, whether or not we're going to push on through. Let's take a look um, at the VIX. Now the VIX, <clears throat> remarkably didn't really sell off yesterday. You would think that we would have seen a lot more fear dropping out of the market yesterday with such a strong move overall in the indexes, but it didn't. It just kind of rested here, um, didn't really fall off. Now, I th still think we're in a bullish situation here on the VIX. But I still, some of these moves in the VIX are a little bit concerning still. It's not acting normally. But let's keep a close eye on that. We are in a downtrend here on the VIX. That is a good sign. We're down here in the teens. This is really where we should be um, when we're looking at new record highs in the market and even lower. But let's watch that closely in case um, we get some odd moves in here. We'll, we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 also had kind of an odd move yesterday. Notice that um, as we we pushed up here yesterday and we had three record highs made in the market, the Dow, the SPY, and the Qs. 
we actually saw T2122 pulling back, which suggests that we had more stocks pulling back or in sideways moves than we had moving up. And we can also see that problem when we look at market breadth. But let's just notice here that um, T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. It just tell us, tells us when we're in an overbought condition or an oversold condition. And right now we have opened an upside opportunity in here where we could continue to stretch higher. So keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that this hole underneath is pretty large as well. And if we happen to trip, stumble, or start selling off, we could tumble pretty quickly. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at that T2101, which is the market breadth. And I got to tell you guys, this, this um, um, is concerning. Um, as we continue to stretch and we saw those indexes just race to the upside, um, we saw the absolute market breadth continuing to decline yesterday. Kind of perplexing as to how that can occur. We've got just money flowing like crazy, but market breadth declined as we continue to rally yesterday. So watch that closely. And we remain in this downtrend on that market breadth. So interesting dynamics here in the market for sure. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar, we have a couple things that we want to pay attention to today. Um, we have those housing numbers. We, we know housing has kind of started to slip just a little bit. This might be an important number this morning to keep an eye on those housing starts sliding a little bit because of the high prices. Um, watch that carefully. We've got consumer sentiment and then we've got some more Fed speakers out here to pay attention to um, uh, today, but rather light calendar um, after we get through that morning open. Then let's take a look at that earnings calendar. Now on the earnings calendar, we have over, uh, 20 companies um, on that calendar, but a good deal of them are unconfirmed reports. Let's take a look at some of these that um, um, uh, we'll be reporting that are notable today. Um, um, Alley Financial reporting this morning. And you can see it looks like it's perking up this morning here. That pre-market candle is the pink candle. Looks like we're going to gap up this morning. Watch that closely. We've got uh, BK, Bank of New York, that um, reporting. Looks like they disappointed here uh, just a little bit. A little pop and drop going on on this morning. We gap up and, and reversing on uh, BK, so watch that one. Um, Citizens Financial, um, come on, type. Um, Citizens Financial, um, also looking like they had a little bit of a pop and drop this morning on that. We might want to keep a close eye on the financials um, here today if they start pulling back. And then let's take a look. Um, we've got a, another railroad, KSU, will be reporting today. Um, looks like they're trying to move just a tiny bit higher this morning. Morgan Stanley, Morgan Stanley is pulling back this morning as well in a little bit of disappointing uh, price action here. So, and then PNC, PNC, well, come on, PNC, um, well, kind of flat. I'm not sure this is reported. Um, uh, watch that one carefully. That's going to report today. And last but not least, um, State Street will be reporting today. So keep a close eye on these stocks as they uh, we move through. Um, and keep a close eye on those financials overall. Let's take a look at that XLF. You can see, even though these banks have just been smoking past, I mean blowing past earnings expectations, um, we're not getting um, a big move here. So watch that closely. We're um, a little bit softer than you would expect after um, such strong earnings results. So keep a close eye. If we start to falter here a little bit, that could be a bit of a problem, particularly for the IWM. Watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar, or excuse me, let's take a look at some stocks setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video is worthy, please do me a favor and click that 
a thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. And I apologize the last couple of days, I have not been able to answer those comments. I've just been so darn busy, but um, I think I should have uh, the ability to do that today. So if you guys have any uh, particular questions or things that you'd like me to do in these videos, please let me know there in the comments. Also, I wanna just shout out again to um, those folks that are utilizing the Buy Me A Coffee um, link below the title of the video supporting the channel that way thank you so much you guys you're just truly awesome thank you thank you thank you thank you let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security um, please do your own due diligence and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. A couple charts that um, I think are really setting up and looking pretty good. Take a look at Target here. Now Target has been in a nice upside move and notice we broke through this resistance here. And since we've broken through here, we're just resting in this nice little tight consolidation. These are patterns that I look for all the time. And as a matter of fact, I have a class on this. I call this a pop out of the box pattern. And it really is nothing more than a very small range consolidation in a trending stock and when I watch for those and the closer and closer we move over toward the actual trend um, I watch for that pop to occur and look for that price action to move on through so and just follow or continue in that trend so keep an eye on target now we will have to keep in mind that so many of these companies are going to be reporting so make sure you're checking those earnings dates it's very easy to get a nice buy signal just before the earnings and jump in and, and then be disappointed if they happen to miss so watch that closely let's take a look how about post post old boring uh dividend paying companies um are doing extremely well um here recently and post took off um yesterday breaking through there's that pattern again following that trend and then resting over um uh, toward that trend and popping on through so had this alerted that's moved up nicely post is definitely something that should be on a watch list um, to be keeping an eye on looking pretty good overall take a look at swks there's that pattern again um, that nice little resting consolidation we're resting between a resistance here and a support that we recovered in that chart so keep an eye on swks that opportunity that that might turn and go up and we know the semiconductor area is becoming a very um uh, well looked at sector um with the chip shortages and things that we're seeing um in the world right now so keep a close eye on that um, this may soon take off and get going um, i'd put it on a list and keep an eye on it coca-cola <clears throat> is one I've been keeping an eye on and it's not quite ready for prime time for me and the reason is we we really haven't slid over here to contact this trend yet in the chart and since we're so close to this resistance high in the chart and we've seen so many failures up in here I think I'm going to wait on coke here just a bit now it's going to report on the 19th so not a big problem to wait um, but what I would like to see is this actually pop through that resistance up here and then hold support and give me that pullback and hold a support. Then I'll be interested in that trade and have some upside opportunity. Coke is something I love to trade because it's really one of those simple, simple companies to trade and options are relatively cheap um, in that chart. So um, pretty nice, pretty nice trader. Take a look at General Motors. Now General Motors struggling here just a little tiny bit, but I don't think we're out of the, out of the realm of this popping back up. Notice that I was watching this in here and I'd set an alert and we failed in here we didn't actually push on through but notice we really haven't broken down all that hard um, watch this level right here if we can recover that level here in the next few days and hold as support there's still some upside opportunity here in GM keep a close eye on that I think you might want to keep an eye on GE as well now I have a bias here on GE because I picked up this trade the other day 
and I like this chart pattern. Notice that GE kind of resting over here toward that trend. There's that pattern again. We're looking for that inspiration to push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Keep also remember 5.5, five, this is going to report. So we don't have a whole lot of time for this to get going before we're run, going to run into danger of uh, that earnings event. So watch that close. Take a look at a steel. Now steel continues to set up here. It's just bouncing around sideways. But um, I like the chart here in Steel Dynamics. I like the chart in MT. Um, as a matter of fact, I own the chart in MT, so I have a bias on this one. And it is perking up a little bit this morning. We're gonna make some money on this, it looks like, at least at the open. Um, keep a close eye on this. Um, infrastructure uh, bill, um, I don't know when it's gonna go along, when it's going to happen, um, but I suspect there will be some kind of infrastructure bill coming down the pipeline here and that should help some of these um, steel companies, concrete companies, uh, things like that. Look to some of those material sectors. You might find some of those good stocks. Um, CLF would be another one, Cleveland Cliffs. Struggling here just a little bit underneath that resistance, but one to keep an eye on in case uh, that can get going. Take a look at KMI. KMI, um, Nice little resting pattern here. And although we broke down here, notice we're trying to recover that. Um, so we had a little volatility in here and it seems to be pretty normal nowadays to um, uh, all of a sudden when it comes time to find the trade, we catch a little volatility in it. But watch this carefully. If that can perk back up and hold above this support, this may still be ready to move to the upside. Uh, Kinder Morgan, more of a gas pipeline than anything else. Um, and if we can break through this big level of resistance here, notice there's some upside opportunity to maybe even fill a gap over here and push on up. So keep a close eye on Kinder Morgan. Um, last but not least, um, a few of these companies that I am holding or have just recently held, take a look at KHC guys. This is a pretty, pretty chart. I'm, I'm in this chart from this entry down in here. Um, I'm up over 40% on this trade and it's looking really good. And I still think there's that opportunity in this, if I go back to the daily chart, that we could rally on up to fill this gap and possibly even break through here and fill the gap all the way to here. So watch that closely as this rests and consolidates in here. I think this is set up for more upside opportunity, but keep a close eye on it. It has stretched itself a long ways pretty quickly, but um, still looking good. And you might wanna take a look at Altria. Altria, um, this is a trade that we did hold in right way options, um, made some really, really good money in this. And notice that Altria um, has consolidated right along this resistance level in the chart. And as we slide over here toward one of these trends, I'm not really sure which one will be the one that pushes, excuse me, gives the opportunity to push that stock higher, but I would watch that closely and I think it could be starting here soon. So um, keep an eye on Altria, another big Dibby payer looking really, really good and continuing to move on up. So, hey, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, great success in your trading. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and I certainly appreciate all the supporters of the channel. We just went over 19,000 subscribers. Wow, um, never expected that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, have an awesome day. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the best.